Welcome to Lab M4, Acceleration in Free Fall. The main goals of this lab are to understand the concept of average velocity and average acceleration and then to use those concepts to determine the acceleration due to gravity. Speed can be referred to as the rate of change of position. The average speed with which an object goes from point A to point B in a given time can be calculated by dividing the distance covered by the total time. Similarly, acceleration is the rate of change of speed. We can calculate average acceleration by getting the change in speed and then dividing by total time. All objects when dropped from a height fall towards the earth. This happens due to the gravitational force exerted on the object by the earth. We may falsely conclude that heavier objects fall faster than lighter ones. Galileo showed that all bodies whether light or heavy, fall with the same acceleration due to the earth. Let's take the case of an object falling from the top of a building. As the object falls, it gains speed due to gravity and covers more distance in the same time interval. If the time interval is small enough, then we can estimate the object's speed by calculating the average speed it took to fall through that distance. And the average speed in turn can be used to calculate the acceleration with which the object is falling. The things we'll be using are spark tape, spark timer and cylindrical bobs. To set up the spark timer, first connect it to the power source using the cable. The spark timer can now be operated using the push button on its rear end. It has two convex surfaces and it sparks every 1 60th of a second. The spark tape then records the sparks as it passes through the convex surfaces. Then you have the cylindrical bobs and bottom plates. To attach the tape to the bob, insert one end of the paper tape between the two halves of the cylindrical bob and fasten together with the thumb screw. The bottom plates can be used to make extra runs to determine the effect of air resistance. You are now ready to do the experiment. Insert paper tape between the surfaces Hold the tape end high enough that the bob just touches below the spark timer. Start the spark timer and immediately release tape plus bob. Discard any part of the tape which fell through the spark gap after the bob hit the cushion. To take the readings of the spark tape, first fasten the spark tape and the meter scale to the tabletop. Ignore the first spark dot, then mark and measure the position of every other dot. You can then use Excel to do all your calculations for you. Start by setting up appropriate columns of data that you'll be using. This is one such way of setting up your Excel sheet. To proceed, plug in the data from the distance between the position of the dots. Enter the formula in the velocity column and then drag it down to get all the values. You can similarly get the acceleration figures. After that, you can plot your results in Excel. As expected, you can see that the average velocity increases linearly with time.